old school butter cake is this like decadent, creamy, buttery tasting, gooey pastry. I know gooey is not a flavor, but it's definitely part of what makes this pastry very special. Interestingly, I never had butter cake until I moved to Philadelphia. I'm not originally from the area. I've been here almost 20 years now, and it is my home. Um, I had it for the very first time at this little cafe, which was struggling and eventually closed up in Fishtown. And I decided to go on a little journey of like making it myself, having no, um, never, never made it before and only eaten at one time. I feel like butter cake and I were like meant to be, you know, <laughs> like it was at that restaurant and I was at <laughs> this point in my life when I was like, I was in grad school and I was teaching statistics and I was like, I hate my life. And I found butter cake and this part-time job baking and like, that's what like launched me into this direction. So I owe you a lot butter cake. The best butter cake I think has a, is it uses real butter and has the topping baked to the eater's perfection. I like the corner pieces a lot because I'm into caramelization, but we have some die-hard customers here who only want middle pieces to each their own, you know? Like, we have a little bit of everything so that everyone can get what they want. I got an early morning baking job in the Reading Terminal Market at this little French cupcake bakery called Flying Monkey Patisserie. And eventually I learned that the owner of Flying Monkey Patisserie was looking for a change of life. There was no question when I had my own place that Whoopie Pies were gonna be central to it. And because Whoopie Pies are also a regional specialty of Pennsylvania, I thought, okay, what else can I add to my menu that emphasizes this regionality? Butter cake. So now we're gonna start our topping, and this is room temperature cream cheese. Anyone who's ever made a cheesecake or anything before knows how important room temperature cream cheese is to the whole process. I definitely think there, there must have been a height of butter cake at bakeries in Philadelphia generation before me, um, because now we get a lot of interactions with customers who are like, oh, I haven't had this since I was a kid, like at my grandma's house or at my aunt's house, or. I haven't had this since I moved away from the region, you know, like 25 years ago. I think a lot of bakeries used to have it. And then either, either they closed and like it didn't just pass on to other places. When folks come by the bakery and they haven't had it in a number of years and I'm able to serve them a piece for just a couple of bucks that brings back like nostalgia from childhood, like there's no really greater high than that.